if we, if we decide to be afraid now, then we're letting them win and we have to just stay diligent. I mean, I've, but to answer your question, yes, I have been afraid before. I mean, as times we release a video or something and we're like, wow, we're really, whew, we're going there. But then at the end of the day, it's also like, hey, it's also just a funny video and it's, it is what it is and it's important. I mean, I'd rather live my life with integrity, you know, than, than to say I was too afraid to say anything. So I, I, I feel like it's, I want to look back on my life and say I did the best I possibly could with the time that I had and the resources available. And I just remind myself of that whenever I get afraid because fear is the enemy. Yeah, yeah. And I also think about, you know, my kids and if I were to not speak out and self-censor, what kind of lesson am I teaching them? What kind of message am I sending, right? <laughs> to be afraid of those who, right. who have the guns, right? Those in authority. Be afraid of those people that can hurt you. <laughs> and, I mean, one of, the, one, thing, one of the next big steps is somehow reaching the ones who hold the guns for the criminals. I mean, the police and the, and the soldiers, they're the ones who would actually carry out this sort of brutality. And they're in our boat, you know? They're in the 99%. They're just the front. But they're in our boat. If we can reach them, game over. Like everything changes. If they realize, if they remember that they're people and they're in debt, just like everybody else, and they're paying their taxes and they're getting screwed by the man like everybody else, and they take, they stop thinking with the uniform that they're wearing, then we win. I mean, period. Like we win. So I don't know. I I trust. I I, I live my life with a lot of trust. Trust in myself and trust of my. You know, I I really am actively trying to put. You know, think from my heart rather than from my brain, right? And I feel like you can't necessarily go wrong when you're in that boat. And if somehow the government wants to take me out, that would be really unfortunate for me and for a lot of people. But I don't think that way. I mean, I can't. I can't. I just can't allow that thought to be in, in my consciousness because I feel like I'm doing, I'm doing the right thing. And that's that. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I mean, Lar there's a uh, Larkin Rose. I don't know if you follow any of his stuff. Uh, I like Larkin Rose. Yeah, he makes some awesome videos, and you know, one of his um, one of my favorite lines of his is, you know, I'm not afraid of the Maos of the Stalins or the Hitlers, right? Because they, they directly they don't kill many people, right? It's only the the order followers, right? The people that work under them, do their bidding, and respect them as authority or near godlike deity status, yeah, and kill millions of people in the name of government, right? Those are the people committing the true atrocities that we read about in the history books. Those right. are the people that are misguided, <laughs> that think that they're, they're defending freedom or, you know, spreading democracy or, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and granted, like, everything I just said, I mean, <clears throat> it's no simple task, obviously, like, getting no. through them. And then, I mean, you can see it playing out. It's almost like a script being written, right? Like, we have these things like, Ferguson or the Trayvon Martin case, the media really, really pumps life into these stories to really make it seem like it's all racism, mm -hmm. like it's a white cop versus a black guy. Yeah, yeah. It's not. I mean, it's, a poli it's the police state versus the people. Mm -hmm. but they're wanting us to think it's racism so that we end up getting really mad at the cops. But the cops are just carrying out their orders. So they're just distancing, they're just furthering the gap between the cops and the people. So that's trip very challenging, but that's you can see their intention when they do stuff like that. You can see them trying to make so then the cops are on the defensive, right? The cops are more afraid of the people. People are more afraid of the cops, more angry at the cops. So we have to I don't know, you know, I don't really know how to solve that problem, but it is very important to deal with the police with love and be gentle and not call them the enemies because they're just like you said carrying out their orders. Yeah, yeah, the the, uh, <clears throat> the phrase or the sentence, just doing my job is one of the most dangerous <laughs> phrases in the history of the world, you know? How many atrocities has been committed with the excuse of just doing my job, <laughs> all right? <laughs> right, and this police state is so scary. I mean, they they're, they want us to be so afraid of, you know, Islamic extremists and terrorism and Muslims in general Meanwhile, you're about, mm, what, a thousand times more likely to get killed by a police officer in your neighborhood than you are by a terrorist. I mean, let's, give me a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a, a Muslim, like an ocean away, um, you know, with sandals is supposed to be more frightening than a police officer here that 
you know, can disarm you at will, can club you, can tase you, can cage you, can, you know, can even confiscate your property, you know, enter your property without your, you know, consent. And uh, I don't know if you heard about civil asset forfeiture, but that's another really nasty uh, method of confiscation of, uh, of, of um, you know, home or of cars. Just that's, that, and that's related to the war on drugs, right? Just with any suspicion of drug-related activities or possession, you know, the police can come and basically evict the people from their home. It doesn't matter if they, you know, paid off their mortgage after decades of hard work, right? They just evict the people, and all of a sudden, <clears throat> you're fighting to keep your house that you paid off. <laughs> you know? Yeah, the game is rigged.